Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the partial fraction decomposition of this given rational expression. And this is our episode 12. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's focus on the denominator part. This one x squared minus 11x plus 28, which is a quadratic expression. And we can see that we can factor this one out. So let's go ahead and factor this one out. Let's do this one over here. I can write 8 over the possible factors going to be x minus 4 times x minus 7. So always make sure that if there's a possibility that you can factor them out. Now we can see that we have two linear factors at the denominator, which is x minus 4 and x minus 7. And now we are going to do the partial fraction decomposition. So I can just simply write two fractions, one fraction and then separated by plus sign another one. So I'm going to put down x minus 4, the first linear factor, and then x minus 7, another linear factor. And then on the top, on this first fraction, I am going to put down constant A, and for the second fraction, constant B. And now our task is to find the values of A and B. And here is the next step. Let's focus on the denominator part on this fraction over here. x minus 4 times x minus 7. I am going to multiply this quantity across the board. I'm going to write down x minus 4 times x minus 7 with this fraction. Likewise, x minus 4 times x minus 7 with this fraction and x minus 4 times x minus 7 with this fraction as well. Now let's look at this one. This x minus 4 and this x minus 4 cancels out. This x minus 7 and x minus 7 is gone. So we simply ended up with 8 on the left hand side equals to on the right hand side, this x minus 4 is gone with this x minus 4. So we are left with a times x minus 7 plus b times, let's look at this one, x minus 7 is gone. So we are left with simply x minus 4. And I am going to call this as our equation number one. And here is our quick trick. Look for the linear factors in the denominator. Let's look at the linear factors. So we got two linear factors. One is x minus 4. The other one is x minus 7. I am going to copy them down right up here. x minus 4. And on this side, I am going to write down x minus 7. I am going to set both of them equal to 0. That means x is going to be positive 4 as one of our x values and x equal to positive 7, another x value. Now let's focus on this x equal to 4 right up here. And here I wrote down put x equal to 4 in this equation 1. That means wherever we see x replace it by 4. Let's go ahead and do that thing on the left hand side of this equation. 1 is 8 equals to a times replace x by 4 minus 7 and then plus. Let's look at this one over here. When I replace x by 4, this 4 minus 4 is going to give us 0. 0 times this whole thing is going to be 0. No wonder I am going to put down 0 right up here. So this could be simply written as 8 equals to negative 3a. That means our a value 
is going to be negative 8 over 3. And now let's focus on this next value of x which is 7. So I just simply wrote down over here put x equal to 7 in this given equation 1. That means wherever x appears we are going to replace it by 7. So let's get started now. So that is going to be simply equation 1 becomes 8 equal to let's look at this x when we replace it by 7 this becomes 7 minus 7 is 0 0 times this whole term is going to become 0 so I am going to write down 0 plus b times 7 minus 4 so that is going to give us 8 equals to 3b that means b turns out to be equal to 8 over 3 so that's our a value turns out to be a negative 8 over 3 and b value is 8 over 3 so in our partial fraction decomposition we are going to replace this a by negative 8 over 3 and b by 8 over 3 and here our fractions showed up on the top as you can see and here is our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye